Yeah. I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh, I, I am so happy to have an excuse not to be home watching TV. I, and, there's not, and, there, and, there's, and there's not even a baseball game on that I could have turned to. Oh, you can find something. I'll find something when I get home. hope my daughter's not watching TV. I don't want her corrupted. Um, Mr. Krieger, a lot of exciting for you to do before Okay. Yeah. So, well, we got about six minutes. And she's over there. Yeah. About Postponing. Yes. Yes. Hey, what do, what happens when we come here and there's a blank screen? Well, you guys have not. I didn't get the footnote in, and Mr. Kimball called me. Who's turning? Okay, let's let's gavel to order. Okay. Platting board is in session September 3rd, 2008. Can we have a roll call, please? Clark? Here. Roll? Here. Sophie? Here. McKay? Moses? Plunkett? Here. Prager? Here. Rose? Here. Dean? Here. Okay, we have a quorum and uh, we have a, an agenda here in front of us. And it's a fairly short agenda, and nobody's here, so why don't we just um, move on through it. Let's do the uh, B1 approval of action summaries. We've got uh, two short plats and a summary of action. Uh, let's take them all three at once. Oh, I didn't log in. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's been moved by Mr. by Ms. Dean and seconded by Mr. Clark to approve the short plat action summary and the summary of action for August 6. Any discussion? Any opposition? Seeing none, those three items are approved. Okay, that takes us to minutes. It doesn't look like we have any minutes to be approved this time. And there's nothing under item C that takes us to the consent agenda. Two items on the consent agenda, a time extension and amended findings of fact in the uh, end of the road subdivision. Uh, let's take D1 first, the time extension. Oh. Ah, we can, we can do the whole thing. I'm instructed again, we can do the whole thing. Mr. Clark, you have moved to uh, approve the consent agenda. Is there a second? Second. And Ms. Plunkett, you move to second that. Any discussion? The chair's gonna abstain on this one because uh, I wasn't here for the original findings of fact and I recall abstaining from that last month and so I'm going to continue to abstain uh, with respect to um, the amended findings of fact. Thank you. So is there any opposition? Seeing no opposition, the consent agenda passes. Okay, I'm still not, there I am. Technical difficulties here. Okay, let's plow ahead. Um, the next item then is um, Monastery Subdivision, F1. It's the only case in front of us. Can we hear from staff? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, this is a subdivision of two lots into two different lots with vacation of BLM road reservations as well as um, a 30-foot right-of-way for Athanasia Street. The planning board previously acted upon and approved both the vacation and the replat for this subdivision. They did that in um, November 15th of 2006. The original preliminary plat approval expired without a time extension being requested. 
Therefore, the same petition is before the board for um, review and action. Um, at the time, the um, the the um, on page 11 is um, shows Athanasius Athanasius Street, which is 30 feet wide, that is requested to be vacated. There's a 20-foot remaining BLM e right-of-way easement. When Athanasius Street was dedicated, the underlying 30-foot BLM easement was not vacated at that time, so it still remains. So Athanasius Street, the 30-foot underlying BLM easement and the remaining 20-foot BLM easement on Lot 62A, and the 50-foot BLM easement on Lot 1 of Bloom County subdivision are the subject of the vacation request. The board at the time, when they first reviewed this, found that the um, vacation requests met the municipal vacation policy and ordinance due to topographic reason, um, topographic constraints along Athanasius Way, which has a 25 to 35 foot a hill that cuts across the rights of way. Also, there is. Um, on page uh, eight of the plat that give, uh, packet that gives a larger picture, there has already been vacation of the BLM easement on the lots to the north across Monastery Drive. So it's unlikely that Athanasius Street would be extended to the north. Um, given the, the proximity to the Old Glen Highway rights of way in Darby Road, it really did appear unlikely that there would be a connecting road that is only two lots deep to uh, Darby Road. Therefore, the board at the time did find that the vacation requests met the um, ordinance and policy and did approve um, the vacation request, which is the recommendation of the department as well. The preliminary plat was submitted by the applicant for final. All of the conditions that were originally placed on the preliminary plat approval were met. It really was ready for recording. It just expired. So the department also recommends approval of the plat for 18 months. There were no additional conditions to place on the preliminary plat which have been met. So on page five, the department recommendation is approval of the vacation request and approval of the plat for 18 months. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. O'Brien. Any questions for Ms. O'Brien? Um, did the, just an ignorant question, just for a couple minutes. Did the, did the BLM have an opinion one way or the other about vacating this easement? Um, Mr. Chair, the BLM easement was placed on plats when it was all the territory. With the land transfer, all interest in those easements were um, Seated, um, granted over to the state of Alaska and in turn to the municipality. And when there was land transfer from the state, then the interest in the BLM easements reverted to the municipality. The state of Alaska never weighs in on the vacation of the BLM easements. ADOT had no comments on this case. Thank you. I, I thought that was probably a dumb question on my part, but I, <laughs> I was interested to know. Okay, any other questions for staff? Okay. Public hearing is open. Anybody want to speak? There's nobody out there. So the public hearing is now closed. The matter rests with the board. Can I uh, have a positive motion? Mr. Roll. Okay. In the case of S11697-1, I move to approve the vacation re request uh, as described in the Department of Recommendation 1A and B. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Clark, you got in there first by, uh, by the computer. The computer rules on these things. <laughs> so uh, it's been moved and seconded, Mr. Roll. Any uh, comments that you could offer? In of your motion. Here's to be a straightforward vacation request. Thank you. Any other discussion? Any opposition to this? Seeing none, the motion passes. Uh, how about the plat? Can we have another motion on the plat? I carry on. 
Yes, please. Thank In the case of S one one six nine seven dash one, I move to approve the plat for eighteen months. Is there a second? Mr. Broad. Um, <coughs> any opposition to the approval of the plat for eighteen months? Seeing none, the plat is approved. The next item of business is case B, O'Malley Square subdivision, but we've received through Mr. Weaver a request from the representative, Mr. Bradley, to <coughs> postpone this case until the planning board hearing on November 5th, 2008. Um, staff, do you have an, uh, uh, can we hear from staff on the issue of whether this should be postponed or not? Any? Uh, Mr. Krieger, uh, Mr. Chair, um, the staff doesn't have any objection, and they did recommend a uh, postponement of the request. The petitioner came in at 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon and discussed yet another revision and the pros and cons of proceeding with the plat as he had proposed that was scheduled for tonight mm -hmm. and doing another redesign on the plat to create three lots. I think this plat has been suffering from what um, one, the board has heard on the residential development. At one time there was a market for a big lot in the configuration he originally proposed. Then um, there apparently wasn't a market for it, so he was, uh, the petition was proposing five lots. And then apparently he found that the version that you will hopefully see in November will work best for him. Therefore, um, the department did recommend that uh, he postpone this until he really finalizes a design. Okay. Um, because this has been scheduled numerous times, the board has already heard the preliminary plat twice. Tonight would have been the third time, and November would be the fourth time. So rather than having any potential for redesigning a plat on the floor during the public hearing was not in the best interest of either the petitioner or the board that is charged for reviewing it, and that is the reason why it was being postponed. Okay, um, Ms. Stolpe, I see you've weighed in. I was going to ask for a motion, a positive motion to postpone or not to postpone, however the board wishes. Did you want to uh, comment before we got to the motion part? I, I have no objection to, to uh, postponing, but I do have some questions of staff on this matter. Well, if we're going to postpone it, I'm wondering whether we should postpone our questions, our substantive questions at least, until if... So it comes back in front of us. Well, my thinking, Mr. Krieger, is that, um, excuse the cough drop, my throat was really dry. Um, because we have a, such a light meeting tonight, and, I, and I've been trying to figure this, this whole layout uh, anyway, I went out there and drove around this, this uh, property today. I can't figure out what, what the problem is and, and what he wants to do to resolve it. I mean, even at this point, with all this paperwork which I went through, I don't get it. Okay, well, I don't think that's in front of us yet. I think we're in the uh, postpone or not postpone zone here. Um, Mr. Clark, I see you queued in. Um, yeah, I, I was curious. Do we need to take action to postpone it? Well, that's, that was uh, something that uh, okay. I was thinking about. Apparently, there's a Department of Law opinion that says... Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, once it's on our agenda, it belongs to us, and we need to get it off the agenda or not. So that's where we're at. Is can I hear a motion on on uh, Mr. Clark? You move. Uh, I move that we postpone case S dash one one five four seven dash four until such time as the department is ready to present it to us. Is there a second? Ms. Dean, you seconded. Um, discussion. You, um, if any is needed, I don't know. Ms. Stolpe, you may want to weigh in on this, but just... Well, until we have 
something substantive before us, it's kind of hard to discuss what is going to happen to this development. And I kind of share uh, Ms. Stolpe's frustrations with some of these things. It would have been nice to have had this at this particular meeting since it is such a light agenda. But as we have not got anything before us, I don't think it would be germane for us to discuss this too much uh, and, and uh, prejudice ourselves one way or the other <coughs> on this matter. Well, that makes a good point. Any I'll other discussion? Any opposition to postponing this until, um, well, let's say the next available time. Thank you. Seeing none, um, motion carries. Um, that takes us to uh, appearance requests, other persons to be heard, reports. Um, there is a report that, Ms. Dean, you, um, but this might be your last meeting? Or are you, are you, re are you renewing? I heard that you were, um, if you weren't going to be, you, you are going to renew. I'm not going to renew. So will you be here in October? I don't know. My, my commission, I think, ends on October 14th. So okay. I don't know if that means I... Away without saying thank you. If, if, um, if, so you'll be here on October. If not, well, thank you anyway. We'll thank you again in October. Well, thank you. Um, uh, but I was planning on doing the October meeting. Yeah. Okay, if great. there is yeah. cases. Great. The October meeting, Mr. Chair, yes. Ms. Ms. Dean, the October meeting will occur before your oh. expiration time. Thank you. Okay, anything else? Mr. Chair? Yes. Um, I just wanted to uh, remind the board that also in October is the, reorg the board reorganizes in October, yeah. and it should appear under special order of business to address the issue of chair and vice chair. Okay, so that should be done in October or? The real, in October. Okay. Probably before you begin your October business, you get the business in October under special order business. Okay, so uh, the mantle can rotate here come in October. So, um. I want to make a motion now that we retain our current leadership. I think we were adjourned, weren't we? <laughs> Uh, so we're adjourned until October. Thank you.